This right here is our car and that right there is the ocean. Now, let me catch you up on how the heck we got over here and where are we going to? Where we go? Morning in the morning. It's 4 a.m. right now. We just woke up. We're gonna have a quick coffee and then we are gonna be on our way to... Ooh. You, you wanna say it or should I? You go for it. To Costa Rica. Are you ready? It's time! And we are driving. Costa Rica is a long way from here. It's about, for us, maybe 12 hours because we have to do some stops. But we are gonna drive or attempt to drive the entire way over there. Let's see if we're gonna be successful because border crossing is always a thing for itself. Especially when you are attempting to cross on it with your car. With a car, because the car needs actually more papers <laughs> than we do. <laughs> basically, it needs its own own passport yeah, kind exactly. of thing. The car basically needs five or six different papers <laughs> yeah. and insurances and things like that. So, But we got them. This is going to be the goal for today. <laughs> to cross the border successfully with our car. <laughs> We just entered the highway from here on we have around one and a half to two hours drive to the border over there we have to do all the crossing paper thingy which is gonna take a few hours definitely but for now we have around one and a half hours to get there We are gonna go to our first checkpoint. There are gonna be ma many, many checkpoints on the way to police use checking for the driver's license. This is a common thing, especially in Central America. Um, having police everywhere just checking that everyone has a driver's license and everything, all the papers in order. Buenos días. Un segundo. Licencia, hola. Sí, 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 cinturón está puesto. Okay. Si no lo uso como corresponde, es lo mismo que nada. Ok, listo. Gracias. Gracias. Ok, first checkpoint was successful. <laughs> They just told us to wear the seatbelt properly. And yeah, that was it. We're good. We're good to go. We're still on the way. Woohoo! <laughs> Our first official stop is to put on some more gas. We are running a little low on gas. We have just, just right under half a tank. And uh, we still have around, what do you say, 12 hours to go? Yeah. Right around 12 hours, 10 to 12 hours to go. Why is there a car? Uh, Wait, there, what? Why is there a truck on the roof? <laughs> what? <laughs> What is that? How did that thing get up there? I don't know, it looks so wrong. Like, it just looks wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it has a Transformers logo. Yeah, it's a Is that Optimus Prime? Ooh, yeah. I think that's Optimus Prime. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. That's so cool. And the sun right there. Actually, I'm wrong. We actually have around nine hours to go. Maybe. Yeah, we have nine <laughs> hours. Oh, <gasps> that's actually better. Oh, the puppies! I need a snack, and we brought a big box full of snacks. <laughs> We've only been in the road for a while, about one and a half hours, and, and Freddy's, Freddy's already hungry. Freddy's already, but I didn't have breakfast. You had breakfast at like 4 a.m. I had a sandwich. What you got over here? We got an umbrella. <laughs> Now we got sandwiches, and bananas, and bread, and carrots, and nuts. Good things. That was 43 bucks 
Um, I was told that gas in Costa Rica is going to be more expensive than, than here. We were able to fill a little over half a tank with $43. I'm sure in Costa Rica this is going to be like probably 80 bucks, which kind of be a little, a little pricey, to be honest. But here we go. We are about to cross another checkpoint. Buenos días. Licencia. Ah, only licencia? Not, not the passport? Not yet. Okay. Permite el pasaporte? Si. Okay. <laughs> Gracias. Buen día. Gracias. Igual. Should I take it or? No. that if they catch you without your passport or your driver's license um, if you don't have your passport with you and you are not a Panamanian person you would most likely get deported right away like even if you forgot it at home you would definitely get in trouble and if you don't have your driver's license with you in that exact moment your car is gonna get towed and there is a chance depending on how you talk to the police officer that you could spend maybe a night in jail but we are all good to go. We already have crossed two checkpoints and now we are about to cross the biggest part of it, which is the border. Here is where migration is gonna do the job. Here we go. This is the border. Okay. I got like 20 sets of my papers. Like, this is just copies. And I have one, two, three, four, five. I have like six of them just ready because they will always ask you for an extra paper it's kind of like to try to give you a hard time and uh, the good thing is that if you bring all your papers absolutely everything that is related to crossing the border even your birth certificate a thing <laughs> you can get through seems like we've got all the papers um, but we are gonna still have to do two more things over here which are even more paper stuff uh, but the place opens at 7 so we are gonna have to kill around 30 minutes maybe 45 minutes in here waiting until this place is open so we can just get those last two papers in order to cross the border oh, it's already starting to get super super hot in here oh the humidity like we were driving during pretty much night already and it was kind of cool so i was with my jacket on but right now as we are here in the border the sun is starting to rise up and it's starting to get super super hot so we're gonna get a little sweaty in here after 20 minutes of waiting in the room i was able to get this permit this is one of two i only need one more in order to be able to cross the border with our car no, I need to get a ton of copies of this stuff. This is the thing, you need at least like four or five sets of these things because they ask you for it. Like, I don't know what for, but you gotta have all these copies. And here it comes the tricky part. There is no place to do copies over here. No. The guys are gonna tell you that they will do the copies for you and then you help them later, meaning that you keep them a little bit of a tip. Um, I'm not too worried about that, but uh, the important thing is that I got the copies that I need for this. No, I need to go to another office in order to be able to process this to get the final permit and be able to cross the border. Well, Rodrigo's getting all the papers and the copies. <laughs> I'm sitting in the car, I'm reading my book and I just wait for him. And I have to say, as someone who is from Europe, this whole border crossing thing is such a new experience for me <clears throat> because we can just cross the borders without any permits, any special papers that we have to get for it, a visa or stamps on our passport. So yeah, it's it's pretty exciting. I also have to admit that I'm not 100% relaxed right now. Like I, <sighs> I wanna get across the border and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna be relaxed again. But <laughs> until then, I will just sit here and wait. Oh, I think we we're all set. Got all the papers. This was the last one. So much trouble. <laughs> so much running up and downstairs to get this little thingy. 
Ah, okay. So no. now we go into the office. No. Next step is the revision of the car. They're gonna check that everything is in order and that we're not carrying something that is illegal or anything like that. So that's the next step and we're gonna do that right now. I think we are all set. Now, migration. <laughs> oh, they're ready the inspection. They do this kind of like quick inspection of the car. They go through your bags and check that you have everything in order and that you're not carrying ever anything illegal in the car. And uh, they just checked that, so we're all good to go. Now we need to go with our passports to the migration place in order to get our stamps of leaving Panama, which is very important because if not, you get a fine of $1,000. It's so loud here. Super loud in here. We did it. Got it. The, the car is ready. Panama is ready. <laughs> we are ready to continue moving. We've got all our papers in order. Everything is stamped, passport. And I gotta give a big shout out to this guy over there. <laughs> he was really helpful with the process and they ask you nothing in return. They are just here to help you and like, it feels good. It feels good knowing that you are kind of like a good hands. And like, there's somebody there to guide you. Like, I was so lost when I started doing this process and this guy just came in like, hey, you gotta do this, go here, go there, get this. And I'm really, really thankful for that. Okay, I'm Aya. <laughs> buena, 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 señores. <laughs> This is a crazy thing. We're just picking someone on the way. There was a guy here that needed a ride and we have a car and we're driving through his stop. So we're gonna, just gonna give him a ride. We are all set to go. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Costa Rica. Look at this guy. <laughs> That was a crazy witch. <laughs> oh my god. We're just stepping foot in Costa Rica and the crazy stuff Costa already Rica. happened. <laughs> that oh. was funny. What was he saying? I don't know, something like Halloween? Yeah. <laughs> We're so far away from Halloween. <laughs> if you guys need to get a car through the border, I, I will give you a, a few quick tips on it. But otherwise, if you don't need the car, it, just don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. The easiest way <laughs> is just get a bus or rent a car on the other side. But getting a car through the border is the hardest thing ever. <laughs> So are you excited for a reunion with your bike? Oh sure, after two years and a half, my bicycle <laughs> here, I'm excited to return to the, to the, the dream. <laughs> Seems like you got a gift for your bike this time. I bought it because I don't know how, how is the bicycle, then maybe I need to repair it uh, to continue. We'll see. All right, brother, bueno, take care. Nice meeting you. And, and enjoy your todo. Thanks, Everything, man. The oh, you don't forget ah, the food. Thank you for the food. <laughs> <laughs> see you, man. See you. <laughs> We're only a few meters into Costa Rica and we all already made friends. <laughs> That's the cool thing of traveling. You meet so many amazing people. And like if you stay at home and don't do this stuff, you will never get to experience it. Yeah. And now this guy just offered us uh, to stay at his house in uh, Spain. Alicante. Somewhere in Spain. So if we go to Spain, we already know that we have some place around there to stay at. Yeah. It's so cool. Super cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already so happy. So let's continue, let's continue with, our, with journey. our journey. Yes. Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Baby. <laughs> Pura vida. with his cooking pot <laughs> like a giant silver pot <laughs> is that a normal thing we have been driving for i think 30 minutes now and we already have a guy in front of us just casually driving to the road with his cooking pot <laughs> on his roof rack yeah i mean <laughs> i love this place yeah me too i love this Almost crashed because there is a speed.
speed bump over there. And then there is a bridge that has, it's only a one, one side of the road. And the speed bumps have no color. So I basically just slammed into the speed bump and then realized that it was a speed bump. Yeah. This is how you drive on these roads. I saw the ocean. Oh yeah, it's right there. Wow. So we are, we're driving along the coast. We're already a few hours in of driving and we have finally found the ocean! Woo! We already have been on the road for a couple of hours now and I already noticed so many little differences that so many people here are, for example, going on a bike and in Panama I like barely see that many people with motorcycles it's just a whole different vibe for me also the infrastructure is pretty different the road yeah. looks super super different yeah. and the signs here are printed on the road there is no little standing sign next to the road nothing like that it's just printed in the road and if you miss it you miss it yeah <laughs> but yeah it's a very like for me a very relaxed vibe everybody here seems to be pretty guys on their bikes. <laughs> so Pretty cool. chilled. That's the motto. Pura vida. Pura vida, mate. <laughs> We're doing our next stop. I don't know for how long I have been driving, but my butt already hurts. My back and everything. First stop is for the ATM. We have absolutely no Costa Rican money. They Currency here is called colones, and uh, one dollar is around 500. It's sometimes it's a little more, sometimes a little less. Like it depends on what is happening there in the market, but that's like the average conversion. I don't know what's going on. Oh, my car is not working. It doesn't goes in. What is that? Wait. Seems like somebody's just like going with it. What? Somebody else controlling the ATM, dude. Yeah, I think so. What the heck? Okay, it seems like this time it worked. Wow, it's only three things. Only three? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Okay, very good. Wow, there's a colibri. The money looks super cool, but it's so sketchy that the thing seems like it's been controlled by someone else. So it seems like the ATM has been hacked and someone with a computer is moving a little click around. It's so weird. That's we gotta go. So my love, what's gonna happen next? Please tell us. We are taking the car for a swim. <laughs> we are gonna take a ferry. That's so cool. We finally made it to the ferry and Rodrigo just went out to buy the tickets. And I have been outside for maybe 30 seconds and, it's and it is 36 degrees right now. It's so incredibly hot. We are in! Our car is inside of a ferry. Well, it's super loud in here. We finally made it inside. It was kind of tricky because I had to run and kind of like queue in the line because there is a ton of cars that are trying to get into the ferry and there is only a certain amount of space. So I we secure, I secure our spot and we're ready to continue our trip. Let's check this view. That's awesome. Hey, sir. That's many stairs. Have you been looking for me? We did it! <laughs> Wait, where are you? I was looking for you all around. <laughs> I just went up. I just boarded the boat. Oh. 36 degrees! Woo! We 
are finally out of the water. We made it safe and sound. I know we still have around one and a half hours to drive to get to our final destination. I'm so excited to get there. Honestly, yeah. I'm quite tired of driving. <clears throat> it's the view is awesome, but my back is suffering. Yep. And this is a stick car, so yeah, my left leg is doing a lot of clutch. <laughs> everyone welcome to santa Teresa. this is one of the first towns that i visited when i was backpacking back in 2021 and i fell in love with this place and now we are back here <laughs> and this time i have freddy hey hello <laughs> welcome home you want a house tour so come on in Welcome to our tiny house! <laughs> oh, this place, oh my god. This is cute! It's so awesome! And, most important thing, it's an A-frame. <laughs> this right behind me is our future house. This is gonna be our house for the next six or seven days. It's a teeny tiny little A-frame. And let me show you guys the inside. As soon as you come in, you have the bed. Over here, you have a Freddy. We got a beautiful lamp. And it doesn't end there, there is more. Because if you open this door, you have your own private bathroom. The ultimate luxury. With your own shower. This is like the jungle. It's like the jungle inside of a house as well. I love this place. It's so warm here. You will never have a cold freezing shower because oh. it's just always hot. Okay. Honey, I'm in love. Can we move here? Yeah. Okay, we're moving here. <laughs> no, of course not. Is Freddy a happy Freddy? Yes, super happy. <laughs> we finally made it to our destination yesterday. A little late, but we were super, super tired and we just went straight to bed. But we're gonna give you guys a glimpse of where we are at. We are right at the beach. Check this paradise. We're gonna be staying here for around a week and we're gonna do a lot of exploring. We have a bunch of things planned to do but this is just the first little bit of it and we're gonna have to call this video over here we are so happy and excited to be sharing this journey with you guys so we would appreciate if you let us know if you like this kind of content so we can just decide if we do a little bit more of it but we just we just needed this little break from the farm and from all the building we honestly were having a little burnout so we wanted to <laughs> just be adventurous a little bit and we just decided to travel 13 hours driving crossing borders and it's somebody's birthday very soon also in that a few days <laughs> we didn't do it for my birthday we did it because we wanted to do we wanted to be spontaneous and do something crazy so we are now in Costa Rica, in Costa Rica. <laughs> Pura vida. we love you guys thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video bye